The other day I made a video about the 1914 code, and this is kind of a continuation of that. Kim Jong-un. The media spells it with the hyphens, so it looks like a completely different word. What I've done here is assign the numeric equivalent to each letter. You'll notice that the J and the G have threes. J would be the tenth letter, and G would be the seventh. However, because they play with 33rd degree gematria, they make the J and the G equivalent to a three because in Hebrew, it's Aleph, Bet, Gimel, and Gimel starts with a G. So they translate the J and the G into a three. So Kim Jong-un's name has the three three for the J and the G. Now I'm just simply gonna erase the duplicate numbers. Here's the before. What we're left with is 19634. However, since the 6 and the 9 are the same in reverse, we can erase one. And there we have 314 equals pi equation. It's this mathematical equation is equal to the circumference of a circle 3 and in 0.14 times. You can go watch a silly video about it, but um, it's actually a reminder um, to the underworld to the others uh to all of us actually um to what the equation really means and why they started world war one in 1914 and why the chroma muffin that's taken from the adrenal gland um is referred to as muffin pie pie i squared in a muffin it's why prince saying those things um so anyway i'll get to my point in a minute consider the word illuminati Again, spelling is everything. All one needs to do is insert a Z and you have Illuma Nazi. A to Z. You see what I see? Here again, assigning a number to each letter. I is the ninth letter. L is the twelfth letter. However, if you add one and two, you get three. U is the 21st letter. If you add 2 and 1, you get 3. M is the 13th. Drop the 1, it's 3. You see the same 93149 pattern. Now again, if I go through and erase the duplicates, we're going to end up with the same, the same 314 equals. So we get 314 equals pi, but it's backwards. That's the backwards mirror writing Nazi programming. And what I was told in the afterlife, it's um, that in this next coming... Uh, you know, there's a lyric, whether the enemy makes the run on the palace or whether the enemy does not, the children will be laced with the protection of the word of God. And then he goes on to say the opposite of NATO is Aten, which Aten was a, a demon name or figure, somebody who didn't deserve to be worshipped anyway. Um, when you take the name Merovigian and you apply it backwards, M-E-R-O-V-I-N, G-I-A-N. What I did is I took that in a backwards upside, well, it's not upside down, but a backwards way. And you can see that just like the name Kim Jong-un, Merovigian has those same letters right in the middle, N-I-V. That's for the new international version of the Bible. That's what they're trying to spread. Over here, we have G-I-A-N, and all we're missing is the T, or the cross, for giant, as in David and Goliath fighting the giant. This is them. Also, just above my head, you'll see A-I-G. A-I-G AIG is one of the biggest manufacturers of RFID chips. Um, so they do have a plan, and I'm going to continue to expose um, why the 314 equals pi, or P-I, Think about the PI. It's the same as a 19. 314 equals pi. 3 equals C. 1 equals A. 4 equals D. And 19 equals 19. Looks to me like C O D E, code 19. 314 equals pi is pretty close to COVID, but not quite. In 2020, when I heard the words social distancing, they just, they struck me as being wrong because social is one word and distancing is a completely polar opposite. So when I heard them, I thought it was odd. But here, if we look at the fact that S is the 19th letter and D is the fourth, it's the same 1914 code. 
Our world is covered in illusions and lies. Consider the word Pope. P-O. In the word Pope, considering P is the 16th letter, we have 16. O is the 15th letter, so you add the 5 and the 1. That's 6. Again, 16 looks like 1999, right? With the E, it's technically the fifth letter. However, a lot of times the E is just an upside down or disguised nine or six. So if you're looking at the word Pope, you can see how Prince might have saw this and saying 1999. Also, we have the 666, which is quite obvious right in the middle. Islam has the same code. 1999 or 666. It also carries within it the 13th for the 13th Merovigian bloodline because it's all a plan, a breakdown on the true creator. Backwards, this also gives us the 316 or the song 319 that Prince sang. From what I understand from my life after death experience, the Merovigian bloodline is like what's uh, left of, I don't know, they consider themselves, or if they are, like royal bloodline, or I'm not sure, but I think they're a bit different than regular human beings. They didn't want his real identity as our creator and sustainer to be known. However, they did know of his powers and ability, um, and the reason he contractually signed over those powers and ability was to get me and all of us the message of himself uh through music religion is a massive you, you know you think about the black hole that's the why of religion that's the way i think about it prince saying about it as being the spooky electric um it's there's an illusion on our world it's it's been done to every generation as we are reincarnated and our breakdown has been through denying the existence of our creator and that's what was told to me in the afterlife um, in 2010, only I didn't remember anything until 2020. I was also told something that I can't quite put my finger on about the lyric, 2000 party over, oops, out of time. You guys know what I mean. So the fact that the 666 and the 1999 look so much alike, I've talked about in other videos, is because I have this recollection of the creator telling me, and I don't know how, because I'm just this human being down here. I'm fallible. He told me something about we, our world having ended in 1999 and then somehow be uh, electronically made or holographically made or... See, when I saw our world from above, it was very much like Minecraft. The creator took me way up above and the constellations and stars and I saw our earth from up above and it was very 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 pitch black imagine looking through a keyhole if or, you know if you go look through the peak hole in your door it's kind of like that like a fishbowl everything's kind of holographic and uh, it's, it's just being separate from the physical world so it's a trip the things I say are wild um, because they come from another place and it's not what we're used to in this realm and whether you guys recognize it now or you recognize it later uh, when God forbid something bad happens because I was shown bad things that the occult and the KKK and the Nazis, you guys think Auschwitz and the camps were horrifying. They, they have, let me, let me, let me step back. The 314 Pi, the reason that they call it Pi is because of the pineal gland, which has to do with the awareness of the creator. He gives you awareness of himself and, and that's what lives in you. So in the beginning of, time when there was like this weird deal that went awry I'm not exactly sure how um, these bad guys got to go first somehow and our souls are the prize yours mine everyone's so the more souls that they can collect by leading people by false religion then the better off the evil is so the question is to you do you is that what you want to contribute to or do you want to know that the real creator gave you an actual spark of himself, a portion of heaven, the creator himself. He put it in you and it's the life source and the energy that lives in you and makes you laugh and cry and live and breathe. It's everything. And when you pass from this world, you disconnect from your physical self. And I got in touch with all of that uh, other self, which are in the other realms that we don't get to see in this physical world. So that's why I'm not afraid to speak about them because they exist. 
You know, once a person meets a Shem, you don't really care what people think anymore. At least I don't. Um, I don't want anybody to be fooled into this RFID trip. Our awareness of the Creator has its never been a physical exile. Like, it's, it's more of a, um, a exile. Um, the Creator had to hide Himself because He's too good for this bad place that we live in right now. Um, and he wants people to believe in him on pure faith. Um, here I come trying to show proof of all the bad religions in the world, but that's because in this America that we live in, people have to see what's bad to see what's good, I guess. And that's also what the Creator told me. And it goes with the lyric, you think that if you tell enough lies, they will see the truth. I hope they bury your old ideas the same time they bury you. Um, graffiti Bridge soundtrack. Everything that he wanted to say, he sung in lyrics, um, and I listened for four years. I read my Bible for over 30 years. I've studied Hebrew to the best of my ability. I've studied Torah to the best of my ability. I studied the Tree of Life to the best of my ability, Kabbalah. Um, but never did I know I was going to wake up in 2020 and be able to hear from the Creator on top of all of that. But that's exactly what happened. So, uh, what I'm sharing with you now, I don't know if these things are supposed to be written down or not, but I like proof, so I try to show proof. Um, there's a lot of these things that are supposed to be said by mouth only, the oral Torah, um, and I'll get there. I just want to show you some of this evidence because it's a big deal and it's coming at us, and within the code... Um, I've shown you before the GE or GE 1914, the code 9 times 4 equals 36, how it equals Revelation 13, 18. I've talked about all that, um, but what we haven't talked about is the possibility of when these bad things were supposed to happen, and, um, well, I believe it's going to be in September, um, possibly September 30th, because the date is... 936, which is the 369 or the 366 of egg or GE or GE. I know what I said earlier about the world having ended in a certain way in 1999 and then been jump started by possibly CERN um, as they work on recreating the Big Bang. Um, I'm not saying this is 100% certain, but it's the only thing that I can make sense that I can make make sense in my mind um, is that because CERN over in Switzerland has been studying, you know, these colliders and nuclear infusion and all this other stuff and trying to recreate the Big Bang, being that the initials Prince R. Nelson, are C E R N in the middle, um, and he also had the CERN bubble chamber on the Graffiti Bridge album. He was trying to bring our attention to that. So the things that I'm saying, they're not so wild when you hear what I hear and have privy to the information. Um, so what I wanted to show you is some timing and that we're in the year 2024 and it's been 25 years since 1999. I wanted to show you something right away that when you go to subtract and borrow, you see the 1914 equation already. This, you'll have 19666 or 1999 and 911 up here. It's been 25 years. 1999 take away 1776. That would be when our Declaration of Independence was sold to us and to 1999 was 223 years. And to current, it's been 248 years. However, I also wanted to share with you again the 1914 code. When you do your borrowing correctly, you have 1914 in reverse here. You have the 911, the same code as that what we had when we looked at the, when we looked at 2024. Take away 1999. We had the same 911 or 911 code. So, from 2024 to 1770 is 248 years, and from 1999 to 1776 was 223 but check this out the difference between 248 and the prior 223 is also 25 years so the whole 911 thing 911 the 1914 code used by a bloodline that is controlling the universe with their powers um you guys i was shown 
things about, you know, societies being laid to waste, like Africa, for instance. T tests, zombies, bockers, uh, voodoos. It's why sickle cell still runs in the blood, um, from what I remember. From the rape, the child trafficking, um, these enemies, um, it's... It's Hashem's enemies. It's it's Korach, and and they're like legions, real legions from hell, and they are hell bent on controlling the societies with their Nazism, killing, raping, selling, drugging, and disguising our truth, disguising our world, and using cinema and the Bible itself to break down our generation, which is exactly why I'm always referring to the breakdown of Prince, why the song Breakdown came out. It has to do with the BRK code. Um, it's 3121, it's occult witchcraft, and it has to do with the spelling and the coding. It's the whole reason for the movie Da Vinci Code. Um, all these books that you see over here, I'm not very good with the camera, um, have come to me since 2020, the spring of 2020, when the creator started talking to me. They're all well organized. Um, and, and I put a ton of heart and soul and time into their organization. This is the investigation. Um, these are lyrics. This is massive amounts of information. And that's why sometimes um, if someone watches my videos and doesn't take the time to watch the whole thing, they're really not going to understand what I'm saying. But I'm working hard to help you guys see that there is a darkness, a shroud um, on our world. They, they lied to us about this man, Jesus Christ. They lied to us about what the church stands for, all to separate you from the essence of the creator who lives inside of you. They have people looking outside of themselves for that um, in this illusion of a world that we live in. And the way that I understand it and remember it, the next illusion is the one that I'm always referring to where they would point to this person that we knew as Prince uh, as an antichrist. Um, it's, you know, the song Annie Christian. Um, he was trying to tell us these things way ahead of time and since I listened like to all the Prince music for 40 years, these things were embedded into my brain. So when I was in the afterlife and I had to answer these questions and do these mathematical tests and see if I could sift my way through this information, if I would recognize the Creator's soul, um, and I did. And so now he's using me to share all this information. I have no desire to, um, you know, badmouth anybody for learning Christianity. I have my same Christian Bible from 1999. It's here, it's rubber banded together, but then of course I switched it up to the real deal. It's Hebrew on one side and English on the other. I've said before, I myself was baptized um, as a Christian and I tried to learn about that path for a while and I tr tried to learn about pretty much every religious path. I even went to a kingdom hall. Um, they're the other ones that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, and that's why Prince was exposed to be a Kingdom Hall uh, participant because that's the other real legion. Um, the real legions all know who the Creator is and they're all lying about it. They're all sold to selling this Holy Ghost, this Jesus that they want people to claim and then they want them to say John 316, which is part of Kim John name in the King James Version of the New International Version Testament. You guys, it's it's a whole brainwashing technique from our beginning of 1776. You know, 4th of July is three days away, and they have our country celebrating freedom when our, we're all just energy slaves. We're all just... Um, we're way more programmed and um, led and controlled than we know. They have everybody high on pharmaceuticals, low on depression, low on anxiety, stress, saying they have this and that and are on the autism spectrum and ADHD. And I'm not saying those things don't exist. What I'm saying is I've been alive since 1970 and I've seen our society deteriorate in a huge way. Um, children are banned from being children um, just for not wanting to sit still and be indoctrinated. 
for eight hours a day. So it's, it's a place where they want to kill your imagination. Um, this physical world takes us out of touch with our imagination. And that's the thing about when you pass into the non-physical world. Um, it's all, I won't say, I, I mean, I, it's, it's as if your imagination is all there is, but everything that you've ever done in your life, it, it's, it's shown to you and you answer for it. And I mean everything because the spark of the creator that he put in you is, is your soul, your neshama. And that, when you pass, that neshama comes out of your physical place and in touch with the creator. And it's just the two of you standing there talking, um, and you have to answer for everything. And on Redemption Day, which is coming very soon, as I said, um, everybody's, everything is going to be out in the open for everybody to see. So the other major reason that I come here is not just to make you aware of false religion tactics and John 3.16 being a farce and the new Nazi Testament being the same Nazis that you read about in their his story books. Um, you guys, it's, it's, a it's dark, it's ugly, and they intend to try to control us and separate us once and for all and for good with that RFID chip made by the AIG. But before I would see that happen to anybody, um, I would want to come here and tell the truth so that people can know that they have to do their chuva. You have to just talk to the creator. Like, the new Nazi Testament would have you believing that you're to profess the John 3.16 and that all your dirty deeds are gone um, because, of course, they teach that, that Christ died for your sins. Um, still, you know, I know Christians, you know, lots of good people. I, again, I'm not bashing. I was baptized as one. I just continued to search, and it led me to Judaism and the truth and the Torah. And... Because of this brainwashing with the New Testament, they're trying to detach your soul as far as possible from knowing the Creator lives in you. Because if you put your faith in another human being, somebody who you believe Jesus was this other human being that just died for your sins, you're putting your faith in an idol, a man, flesh and bones. People can say, oh, you're putting your faith in Prince. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when I met him in the afterlife, he was a soul. We all have neshamas, and they're eternal. And we've been here before. We've been reincarnated. It's just that this time, like I said, with the false illusion world, people are so angsty, and their our souls are so old and so broken and so tired. Nobody, you know, people recognize that it's like we're living in this matrix, this redo. But but people are afraid to admit it. But you got to admit it. You got to start shaking yourself and your neighbors and your families awake because it's the truth. Um, it doesn't matter who the creator showed himself to, the world as the fact is he did show it, and he showed it through music, and music is life. Um, without music, I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't be able to live and breathe. So the fact that our creator is somebody who was able to give us music and life and laughter and love and teach us from within isn't so hard to understand. It's the lie that's hard to understand. I, I just don't know how people can put their faith in a man, an idol, when the Bible says not to. And further, before I end this video, let me show you about the math in the word Christ so you understand where the Revelation 13, 18 came from one more time. Um, because they wrote it all in. When you take a book and you say, oh, we transcribed it from Hebrew to English and this is what they said. But you don't have to read that anymore. Just go and read the New Testament because that's what Christianity teaches. That's the brainwashing technique that they use. If you've ever been to church, you know what I'm saying is true. So I'm going to throw a couple more numbers at you. 